wish you blessed But all you do is look the other way I touch a dance I can't tell you how much I wish I didn't want to stay just kind of wish you were gay Oh, I just kind of wish you were gay I just kind of wish you were gay Street lamp dim glow A light to blink at night like summer snow Well, let it pour Just cover up whatever came before Sea breeze whips through And makes you do some you never do Talking queer. Why the are you still here? And we go bum 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 Don't know why I decided to come Meet me halfway A touch and go, I don't know what to say Do we talk? <clears throat> what? Huh? Don't expect too much, just walk Blank slate, blank stare Yeah, you made her cry, what do you care? What took hold? Look at her, she looks so cold Here we go Bum, 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 bum Bum, don't know why I decided to come Don't know why I decided to come Twisting lemons into lemonade You'd be sleeping You'd be drunk if you had stayed And you might miss Any good that could come After this First date Last night Not quite what, what you pictured, pictured But alright to take her out Give him a shot Cause people can't surprise you Or not And we go Bum 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 bum
There we were, hungry and scared, wishing we never had come. Homes on our backs, dust in our hair, cursing the day we'd begun. Tell me, I ask you, a friend of mine said, was it so bad where we were? We didn't have to come here to be dead. Was what we had so unsure? Then the quail came, falling like the dew on the ground. The quail came, each evening our food to be found, and taking our curses and turning them round, and filling our ears with those ungrateful sounds unworthy to stand. I bow down. There we were, angry and naked, looking for someone to blame. Our bodies were aching and babies were crying. Each day was so much the same. I tell you people, this journey is crazy. I heard someone say in his rage, How long will it be till we realize our folly and get back to where we were safe? Then the quail came, falling like the dew on the ground. The quail came, each evening our food to be found, and taking our curses and turning them round, and filling our ears with those ungrateful sounds unworthy to stand, I bowed down. desert, fed on to dark dusk today. Every morning we wake up to find just the measure of food that we need for the way. Once we would ask if we could have more to see that our future survive. But we know now at last that nothing is sure except that at evening the quail will arrive. Then the quail came, falling like the dew on the ground. The quail came, each evening our food to be found. And Taking our curses and turning them round And filling our ears with those ungrateful sounds Unworthy to stand I bow down
Welcome to the coolest coast. I'm Tina Priggy, and today we are at the Capital Civic Center for a performance by the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble. This amazing group of talented local musicians has been performing on the Lakeshore for 36 years. We're so excited to listen. Thank you for watching the coolest coast. Dr. Mark Sackman, conductor and music director of Lakeshore Wind Ensemble. This is our 36th year. The band was founded by um, Michael J. Arndt, my predecessor. And so it's a really special, special thing that's going on. And um, I'm really honored and delighted and very happy to be part of it. We call this a community band. So it's students and community members. Um, there's amateur musicians, very, very talented amateur musicians who spend a lot of time playing music. There's also a lot of professional musicians in the band, school teachers, we sometimes retired um, band members from military service bands. So we have that kind of mix. It works out really well for our students because our students, instead of being at a conservatory, which has advantages too, but they're sitting next to professionals who've had maybe 30, 40 years experience. And our students get to, to draw from their experience, which is really special. <laughs> We're a full concert band, which is all of the woodwinds from piccolo, bass, clarinet, bassoon, so highest to lowest, full brass, trumpets, trombones, tuba, euphonium, and full complement of percussion. There's a couple of string parts, usually string bass and harp, are generally the only string instruments. Some, some bands have cellos, but that's very rare. And that's kind of the difference between a band and an orchestra. Bands are all wind and brass instruments, orchestras of course mostly strings. Kozlowski. I've come from Los Angeles, California to sing a couple solos with the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble this weekend. And the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble to me is a very important part of my family. Both my parents have played in it. My dad for almost 40 years now. So I'm very excited to be back. This is my second time back singing with them and every time I come it's just a great joy to be with a community orchestra or community band wind ensemble that is as good as the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble. I graduated from Lincoln High School a long time ago. I won't give you the actual year. And <laughs> now I'm in Los Angeles, I'm a professional actor. It's so great that Manitowoc, which is not a huge city, has a wind ensemble of this caliber. It's very unusual. Even in Los Angeles, we don't have community bands that are this good. And I'm not just saying that because I'm from Manitowoc. It really is true. It's a very special place. It's a, it's a musical town. And I'm Ooh, 
Well, my name is Dennis Kozlowski. And I'm Alice Kozlowski. So we're, we're both original members, but I've actually played in every single concert that the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble has, has played. I'm currently the principal clarinet and the concert master of the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble. Wind Ensemble has been good for students in the area because in the beginning there were a lot of young people involved. Um, and that whole music program at the high schools and the grade schools and the, and the uh, campus are important for all the kids in this community. We've, we've had, uh, oh, I don't know, three or four concerts a year for the last 35 or 36 years, and I don't think that we've disappointed the city of Manitowoc in any of those concerts. I know the people in the band work really, really hard, and I know that anybody in the audience really would enjoy newbies especially would enjoy coming and listening to us. That was something else. All of these musicians, students, teachers, university students, professionals, all here on the Coolest Coast making music just for you. Thanks for watching The Coolest Coast. Hi guys, I'm Paul Zuckerman. And I'm David Burgess. And we're with the Lakeshore Big Band, part of the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, Aegis. Is that, a, is, that, is that a bad word? Should I not use that? Is, will people understand that? I like that. We're word. under the umbrella of the, <laughs> of the Lakeshore Wind Ensemble, as, as well as UW Green Bay at Manitowoc. <laughs> Lakeshore Wind Ensemble is in its 36th season, but the big band has been like a baby or an off branch of that, and that's 28. We're in our 28th season. And we're both 28, too, <laughs> which it evens out. It's well, that's obvious. Perfect.
J. Arndt uh, was the founding conductor. Uh, he has since left us, he passed away, God rest his soul, but he's still very much with both of these organizations. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I came on board a few years ago and um, uh, I was originally hired to be a temporary replacement and um, the band liked me and I liked the band and um, they basically told the UW that, uh, hey, uh, we, want, we, want, we want this guy. These are some of the most dedicated musicians that I've ever worked with. Um, they never miss a rehearsal unless they absolutely have to. We have, I believe, two original members in the group that have been with the group for 28 years. One is Dick Luxinger and trombone, and they're both in the trombone section. And then John Zeldenrust. Yeah. Now we do all of our concerts at the Capitol Civic Center. Magnificent, that's why I wore this shirt today just for that. It's a, it's a quote from the, from the musical Newsies. <laughs> and it's true. How can you get into trouble in a theater? <laughs> <laughs> so as far as the two-year campuses go, it's really unusual to have a band, a wind ensemble, and a big band of this size and caliber. If someone would like to join the Lakeshore Big Band, they would just contact um, the university and talk to Sandy Sickinger or Paul Zuckerman. There have been a lot of people who've come to the concert thinking they wanted to join the band. So they hear the concert and then afterwards they talk to the musicians and they find out how nice we are and they want to be part of the group. Yeah. Because we are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're the, the Lakeshore, Lakeshore Big, Big Band, Band and, and we're, we're keeping, keeping it cool, cool on, on the, the coolest, coolest coast. and I'm so glad that you joined us for today's episode. We enjoy promoting and celebrating all of the many cultural assets that truly make the coolest coast our favorite corner of the world. And today is no exception. We're gonna be celebrating and exploring the talent of the Clipper City Chordsmen. They're a barbershop harmony society here on the coolest coast celebrating their 75th anniversary. Let's check them out. You're watching the coolest coast. Hello, my name is Don Llewellyn, and I sing with the Clipper City Chordsmen, and also with a quartet called Lake Effect Quartet here in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And this year is the 75th anniversary of the Clipper City Chordsmen as a chorus right here on the lakeshore. And that's an awesome thing to reach that kind of a milestone since the Barbershop Harmony Society only started in 1938. It's only about 80 years old. Uh, but in 1945, the Clipper City Chordsmen were founded by a gentleman by the name of King Cole. Now, King was his, his nickname. He was actually an executive with Kingsbury Beer. So since then, this chorus has been singing and enjoying themselves along the lakeshore. 2020 is the 75th anniversary of the Clipper City Coastman. Tonight, you'll hear old songs, new songs, and a touch of uh, harmony. Uh, find the edge of your seat and join us in the celebration. But over that 75 years, the chorus has gotten larger, it's gotten a little bit smaller, it's, it's, but it, throughout all of that, it's been an enthusiastic place for men who like to sing, to get together, and enjoy good harmony.
Over the years, uh, the Barbershop Harmony Society, which at the time was called the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And it's called Spebsqua. And uh, it's too hard to remember, so we call ourselves the BHS, or Barbershop Harmony Society. The, the tagline for the Barbershop Harmony Society is everyone in harmony. And so men, women, it doesn't matter your gender, it doesn't matter your political affiliation or what you do for a living. If you like to sing and you have a part that you can sing in a chord, you're welcome to sing as part of the Barbershop Harmony Society, the international organization. That international organization has some uh, 30,000 members of 800 choruses around the world. The Clipper City Choruseman remains an all-male organization. We're about 40 members, and we range in age from, uh, I think right now, 18 to 86, 87 perhaps. And with our longest term member, having been a member for almost 60 plus years, um, in fact, when the chorus originated in 1945, our first chorus director was Milt Detchen, and his son, Randy Ditchen, sings with us now. And so there's that continuity that has remained throughout that whole period of time. Hallelujah. As far as, as what kind of singing we do, it's four-part harmony. And that means that we have someone who sings the bass notes, and those are the low guys. And then we have someone who sings the lead, which is the melody. And so if you're, if any song that you know, you know, when I wish upon a star, that would be the melody and the lead would sing that. The tenor floats up above that, and the baritone, he just gets all the rest of the notes that are kind of in between that are left over in order to make the chords work. And, and because the science of, of, of music and the way that the harmonies kind of build on each other, the thing that we always seek to try to find in our chords is a ring where you can hear extra overtones that occur that sound as if someone's singing a note that really isn't there. And so there might be a note that kind of floats above that nobody's actually singing, but if the chord is meshed perfectly, those occur. And we live for those moments. These guys are like a family. We get together, we do things together, we sing together. We don't care what people do for a living, we don't care about economic levels, we don't care about any of those things. All we care about is making sure people are on their part and that the chords work out as they should. Throughout the summer, we sing in community events around the Lakeshore area, and we try to give back to the community by participating in things that would help support music education through scholarships and through, through giving money to schools directly for music education. When we sing, we do not use accompaniment. The only accompaniment that we have is this, to give us a starting note, and we continue from there. Part of the reason for that is in order to blend the voices to get those, those harmonics to really work together in chords, a piano keyboard is limited to specific tones between octaves, and when we sing, it's like a violin. We can choose whatever notes we want in between there, and we can kind of slide things in to make them work right. And so the a cappella genre allows us a lot of flexibility in that. We sing everything from old show tunes to doo-wop to uh, contemporary music that's been arranged for four-part harmony. And as far as we're concerned, anybody who's uh, significant other thinks they sound good in a shower it w should be here on a Tuesday night for our rehearsals and so the invitation is always standing for our guest nights on Tuesday nights between 7 and 9 p.m. at the Jen Rose Center on the campus of Holy Family College. So this has been Don Llewellyn from the Clipper City Chordsman, our 75th anniversary. And we're right here on the coolest coast. Thank you very much. Oh.